Hey, Luca, both bolts are uh, driven down, and they're, uh, looks like they're staying there. We are looking at the video. Uh, try to leave them vertical, and that's uh, that's a great config and the best that we can ask for you. Okay, you can kind of probably see they're kind of float, maybe about a 20 degree arc. No, I'm not sure where they settle out. But. We see that Shane. Uh, that that is uh, that is a great work. You are go to retrieve your APFR and store it on your BRT. Okay, how about this cable that's in front of me? I'm going to do something with that. And Shane, if you think that the cable will stay more towards the battery, uh, well, if, you can, if you can bias uh, towards the battery, we'd be happy with that too. Okay, I kind of put it behind the, or in between the battery and the alignment guy. Can you guys see that? And Shane, uh, we, are, we see it, and uh, that, looks, that looks good for us. Stand by while we verify that the config is uh, approved. Okay. Okay, I have the 716 wobble on my PGT is a good pull test. And just to update you. You said the 6 inch wobble, we need the hex driver. Oh, my bad. I put the 16 and the 6 inch wobble. I'm uh, swapping to the hex driver. Thank you, Thomas. And once you do that, please give me a good pull test on both the 6-inch on the on the caddy and uh, and the 9-inch on the PGT. Copy. Shane, uh, that configuration looks good to us. Thank you very much for the extra work and uh, your goal to retrieve your APFR. Okay, that's in work. And just to update you really quickly, uh, Shane Kimber actually knocking out two quick get-aheads. Um, the first of which uh, you saw those two restraints that were slightly moving back and forth. Those are the SAP restraints, which stands for the Solar Array Blanket Boxes. And those essentially were restraints uh, that held the blanket in place that was over the solar arrays when they were launched prior to being fully extended and they noticed um, a con they were not in a preferred configuration basically potentially getting in the way of future robotic work um, so just needed to make sure that they were pointed up and out of the way for any future work um, also stowing that cable um, getting it away from something called the pump and flow control subassembly, uh, which could be replaced robotically. Again, all of this just kind of clearing the way, clearing the work area Copy. for any future robotics. And I see you stole the uh, socket caddy at this point, and your convenience. <laughs>